What up, what up, people? Y'all know what it is. Doing my little daily walk around my neighborhood. Y'all make sure y'all check out uh, my movie on, um, it's on Tubi. Me and my boy, Mike Anderson, my boy wrote it, directed it, edited it, very talented. It's a positive film. It's a film about him getting locked up, being a young boy, wilding out, doing the same things that some of these kids is doing now. Probably doing it on another level now. The kids are opposed to it then. But uh, it's called Polish Soul. It's about him being locked up, facing the death penalty. And he, um, he took a life sentence to escape the death penalty, having to fight for his life. So he copped out to life. How real is that? A brother copped out to a life sentence. And these are some of the things I want y'all to understand why we go hard trying to help these kids out here understand that's not the way to go. So as he copped out to the uh, to the life sentence, he went on, um, went to prison. I think he said he was wilding out first. I'm gonna get him up here, do a little interview with him and all that so he could tell the story his best or the best way. But um, he uh, he went in there first, got in there, you know the typical routine. Get with the, get with a few guys in there. Start doing your your young boy shit in jail. Excuse my language. Wilding out, get with the wrong crowd in there. Doing the crazy stuff that'll get your time pushed a little more. But when you got life, you look at it like, how much more time can they give me? I'm flipping out. Anybody say something to me crazy the wrong way? I'm going at that. You know what? I'm going at it. But... With life sentence, nobody don't really got to say but so much to you. Because you like, one more time, how much more time can they give me? Which life is only really 25 years. They just, once you get to 25 years, they, uh, they really got, um, they, well, they can just keep hitting you. When you go to parole, they can just keep hitting you with more time, come back and see me, come back and see me. They can keep doing that to, for the rest of your life. But fortunately, he went in there, and you'll see some of this in the movie. He went in there, finally got the right people in his ear, and um, He started getting his things, his his mind right, and doing the right things. He started uh, going to school, got his degree in there, learned how to write scripts in the right format for movies. 
Um, you know, just doing a lot of a lot of things that was going to get him ready to be back in society. And he's in a lot of other films now as well, y'all. Would uh, probably know him once you see him. But he's on the rise. He's on the up, up and coming. But he actually learned how to do editing, directing, filming. He did 17 years. And they realized that or well, should I say they they looked at him as and we think we can release him and, and he'll be a productive citizen, which he has. He never looked back. He never went back to prison. So this film is basically about him. And it's a great message to these young cats out there because he was one of them cats that was wilding out and doing the same same thing these dudes is out here doing, but not to that extent. Unnecessary murders and all that. It never really happened like that back then. <clears throat> but he's from Fayetteville, so it's a Fayetteville story. Fayetteville, North Carolina. And once again, the name of it is called uh, A Polished Soul. And it's on Tubi. So when y'all chilling around the house, chilling, you know, with your lady, ladies, you chilling with your man, y'all pull it up. If your kids is around, pull it up, let your kids see it, your teenagers that be out there doing things that y'all don't know what they doing when y'all at work or when they just go outside in, in, in the mean streets. They need to see because it's a true story. And you know, the positive true stories don't get too much shine and light on them. But um, we've been getting good response so far. And this is just me letting y'all know we practice what we preaching. We actually putting films out, investing money into films that spreading the word to the youth, to the young boys and young girls as well. That's out here wilding out. I was uh, fortunate enough to meet my brother a couple years through a friend of mine, Terry D. And, um, you know, chopping it up, got to know each other, and he was let, he let me be a part of, of his film. And it was a beautiful thing to become a part of something like that because this is stuff that I've been preaching all along and it was just, you know, destined that two brothers that's on that same path meet. And now you have it. We've got a film, working on a few more films that we're going to put out there. And, you know, we're going to still do some more um, positive films, but we're going to do other films that's just entertaining and we want to create other actors and actresses same way Tyler Perry do you know you can see that he keeps all the different I mean all the same actors as much as possible in a lot of his films and he created stars that way so that's what we want to do we want to create stars and you know help people build their catalogs into the movie industry. And you make sure y'all go check out my brother Dame Dash. New film. The Prince of Detroit. Good film. Very entertaining. He's showing you his other side of his uh, directing skills. And other side outside of his other movies that's with the, you know, showing street stuff. And you know, the shoot him up bang bang stuff. Even though he called himself the Quentin Tarantino of urban film. Nobody cried when Quentin Tarantino had people get killed, chopped up, sliced, and all that in, mo in the majority of his films. But 
Make sure y'all go check it out. It's in all AMG, AMG, AMC theaters. North Carolina, y'all know what it is. Charlotte, he down there at Concord. The, the movie's down there. Y'all can look him up in all AMC films. Prince of Detroit, Damon Dash. And it'll pop up wherever, what city and state the uh, the movie is in. And yeah, don't don't forget. A Polished Souls is on Tubi. Make sure y'all check that out. And we got another domestic violence film. I was proud to help my brother Terry D. AMG. It's called 17 Days. It's a domestic violence film. My brother Mark Scheiss plays the guy that had the woman fall in love with him. And um, and this is on Tubi too. 17 Days, the, the number 17 Days, the movie. Um, a girl fall in love with him. He was a good guy. Asked his mom to, asked her mom and her pops to, can he have her hand in marriage? And she was so in love with him like uh, uh, overnight. Um, Juana, Juana man, Miguel Nunez, my boy play, the father, Omar Goodness in that film. As well, he played it, play a cop. And, you know, uh, later on, once they are together and they actually are inside of the, the marriage, the relationship, he all of a sudden do a 360 and turn and start beating on her. Turn into a whole monster. And, and my boy Mark Scheiss played the part so good, so y'all don't get mad at him. But he had to play the part so y'all can understand, this, you know, the seriousness of domestic violence. And that's what it's all about. Getting that point across. It's another positive message because domestic violence is very, very serious out here. It's very serious. And Terry D wrote that film, directed it. He did an excellent job as well. And make sure y'all uh, don't forget the... Uh, um, well, I, I almost forgot. I forgot his name to say it the correct way. Apa Katumbe. He's in The Polish Souls. And uh, my boy Red from The Five Heartbeats. My office hours are from 9 to 5. He's there in The Polish Soul movie. And both of those films are on Tubi. Black owned, filmed, and directed. And it's a positive thing towards kids that's doing violence. And the other one is domestic violence, men abusing women and killing them or beating them to death or beating them to damn near death, which is never good. Any man put his hand on a woman and, and violate a woman, he's not a man. And those are the type of guys that need to be targeted and put away for a long time playing with somebody's life. When you are stronger than a woman can overpower a woman. So these films are good. And, you know, Terry D got a lot of films on Tubi, so y'all can check those out. You can pull his name up and a lot of his films will come up. And it's directed towards a lot of things that is considered... Um, in our community where men beat on women or men know that they're undercover brothers and go and have sex with women and passing off the HIV thing. So y'all go and check those films out. But yes, make sure y'all check out Tubi. I want y'all to do it. Uh, check it out. Hit me up. Let me know what y'all think. 
because it's a positive message. Y'all need to have your young sons, well, your young daughters and sons watching this film. Because the way things is going on out here now with all these our young young brothers joining gangs and thinking that killing and violence is make you the cool guy to fit in with everybody else. So that's what it's all about. So I need y'all to actually, actually hit me up after y'all check it out, man. Let me know what y'all think. Put in a lot of work from the movies to get that message out there, to save lives. So that's what it's all about. So we need y'all support. And we're going to bring y'all a whole bunch of other um, great movies, great films. So y'all stay tuned and be ready for that. Now I want to get into one other thing. You know, that it's going on out here now that um, the Ciroc situation with Puff. It's looking like they about to sell Puff <clears throat> or have already told Puff that they're going to cut ties with him doing the Ciroc thing. And what's crazy is you guys get to see how quick it can be to for business to turn around on you. Your business can be going good, but when you don't actually own it, they can get rid of you quick. And you know, face was the puff, I mean, excuse me, face was the, uh, puff was the face for, for Ciroc, as well, I guess, his business ventures that he had going on. I, I don't know the ins and outs, but, It's just a little message to show people that when you don't have your, when you don't secure your own brand, they can easily remove you off the, uh, off that chair, off that corporation chair with no problem. And it's crazy, but you know, I, I, I like Ciroc. I can't front. I, I like Ciroc. Um, I actually was a Ciroc boy. My boy Roger Barnes had created it a few years back. Puff put him in position to actually handle the Ciroc. When he was in Atlanta, he was handling all the clubs and he put a group of fellas together. And him and my boy D. Funch, shout to D. Funch, um, called me up. I brought a few of my guys that was here in North Carolina, and we created a Ciroc Boy movement here in North Carolina. So, you know, and we was always moving and doing a lot of parties and trips to London. I missed the London trip, but they was calling to for us to come host a lot of parties in a lot of places, a lot of states, out of the states. So it was a good thing and it was a good opportunity for other black men to have, um, you know, have some and experience other things to do. So I'm, I'm always be grateful to the Ciroc movement and hate to see that it's actually going to stop between, you know, the company and Puff, which is another black man that's actually, you know, part of us, part of our culture. 
We was happy to see a black man behind a liquor. Whether he owned it or not, nobody didn't know it at the time, I guess. I know I didn't. But I still like to see our black men rise and be a part of something that's powerful and strong, which when he got behind it, he made it powerful and strong. Nobody can't take that from him. Because the rock was a struggling brand until Puff took over. and was running things and made Ciroc into what it is today. But you know, when it comes to that money, they don't care what you did for them. They still own it. If they feel you done something wrong, they gonna get rid of you. And it's supposed to have been something about some type of racial comments or something with this situation. I didn't dig too deep into it. I was kind of watching and passing, but It's, 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 it's looking like it's something real serious and something to do with Darion. I believe that's it. Darion, the, uh, the vodka, something with George Clooney with his liquor, Casamigo, which everybody loves Casamigos. But this is, it's, it's, my conversation is, shows you how fast everything would be smiles Honky Dory for years, and soon as one wrong thing and you don't have full ownership, could get rid of you fast, quick, in a hurry. But I think I'm thankful for the opportunity to run around and do some Ciroc stuff, some Ciroc boy stuff, which I'm still considered a Ciroc boy. Shout out to the Ciroc boys up in Philly. My boy Roger Barnes did a lot of work with them. They contribute a lot to Ciroc up there. They did a lot of parties. Them fellas is thorough up there in Philly. So, can't forget what Ciroc done for people like us. It put a lot of money in my pocket from the things that I've done with it. So, even though Ciroc gonna be around, but you know, they're not going to do anything for us to give us no jobs on the outside of the business. So that's why I say what I say. When we get something, we got to hold on to it, people. And that's a fact. But um, just wanted to touch that with y'all, touch up with y'all on that. Got some other things coming. I'm out here doing my daily walk. Got to keep the energy up, keep the blood flowing and all that. Your boy Big Boosie, Street Knowledge Podcast. I'll be back. See y'all in a minute, man.